Hi guys, Anthony from The Hot End. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make this wicked cool USB lamp. Okay, and we're back. So what did you think of the new intro? Uh, my buddy Preston over at Press Reset helped me make that, and I think it came together really nice, and it looks really professional. Um, link to Preston is over here. And I encourage you to please give him a subscription because he does put out some awesome good content. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this cool, wicked cool USB lamp. I love lamp. Do you really love the lamp or are you just saying it because you saw it? I love lamp. I love lamp. Out of, uh, this is Pet G, a Pet G print, a resistor, LED, an old USB cable, and a soldering iron. Let's check out the time lapse first and then I'll show you how I made it. Alrighty, so to make this, we're gonna need a few things. We are going to need an old USB cable. Just an old standard USB cable, I'm gonna chop one end off. We're gonna need a resistor. In this instance, I'm using a 470K ohm resistor, which is ridiculously overkill for this application because we are only dealing with five volts. So you could probably halve that and be uh, ample and safe. And we're gonna need a LED. So you can choose whatever color you like. Um, for this lamp, I actually used green because I thought it gave a really cool effect. All right, so step one. We are gonna cut off the end of this USB cable. So we want the flat end to go into the PC. And we just get out wire cutters and cut the end off like so. <clears throat> if you're not confident in doing electrical work, then probably this isn't the project for you. Um, it is quite safe, but you just need to have some common sense and you'll be fine. All right, so next we need to strip off some of the outer jacket of the USB cable. You can do this with scissors, but it's easier if you've actually got a wire strippers like this. In theory, it should be easier if you've got wire strippers. Okay, so in there you'll see the outer braid, which is just to reduce interference for data. So we don't need that, we can cut that off. Just pull it out of the way. And then under that you'll have the, um, the, the covering foil, we can peel that back. Okay, so the foil can be a little bit tricky, but that's okay, that's all we have nice. So we just cut through that foil, just close the wires underneath. So, standard USB, you should have four wires. So standard USB, you should have four wires. Now we're only going to be dealing with the red and the black, so we can trim off the white and the green. But um, those colors may vary a bit depending on the quality of the USB cable. So we'll just cut off what we don't need, get it out of the way. And now we're left with the two wires. So obviously red is gonna be positive. So we'll, give, we'll strip that off and black will be the negative. Okay, so just to be sure, what we can do is we can plug in the multimeter and we'll just give it a quick test. So when you're testing, I'd recommend you just use an old um, uh, USB phone charger because you don't really wanna be messing with or possibly shorting wires out, sticking it into your expensive computer over a um, couple of dollar charger. Okay, so we'll make sure that none of our wires are exposed, uh, none of them are touching, 
plug in our USB cable, and then I plug it into the power point. So put your multimeter into voltage mode. And in the 20, 20 volt range will be fine. We're only dealing with five volts here. So red to red, black to black, should show us five volts. Okay, so it's slightly over five volts, which is normal. So it's 5.10. Now we can get on to the good stuff. So we'll disconnect that USB cable. We'll get our resistor and our LED, and we'll get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first solder the uh, resistor to the positive wire. This can be a little bit tricky without a um, helping hand, but you'll be fine. All right, so I'm assuming you know how to solder, but if you don't, you slightly heat up the wire first and then you feed the solder in from the opposite side. So we'll quickly tin these wires. Mmm, solder smoke. Smells like cancery goodness. Now, we'll also tin uh, tin the resistor wire. This is where you might need three hands. Okay, so now we've got our resistor on our positive. And the next thing we need to do is get our LED or light emitting diode. You'll notice on here that there are two legs. One leg is slightly longer than the other. The longer one is your positive, the shorter one is your negative. So we'll pre tin these wires coming out of our LED, like so. Also, use the um, resistor to solve as well, on the flow. All right, so, positive link to the resistor. Don't judge my soldering skills. And then our negative of the resistor, we put down to our black wire. Okay, so the circuit is complete. We can turn off our soldering iron, get it out of the way. And then the next thing we get to do is to test it. So we'll make sure there's no shorts, no visible shorts here. Um, we've got everything looks to be in order. So we'll plug that in. And you'll see that I picked a blue LED. So this will be slightly dimmer than um, full, full brightness because this resistor is overkill for this circuit. But if you look for something around 200 ohms, that should be fine. This is a 470 ohm, so it's um, half as dull as it should be. It has got a bit of brightness though. All right, now that we've got our LED wired, we will disconnect the power. And now we insulate the wires. So. Just get a bit of tape, or ideally use heat shrink, but I'm out at the moment. And just cover up anything that's exposed. Although this probably is better wiring than you see in some things off AliExpress. I'm just saying. Okay, now this is a bodge job because I've already done it before and I'm not going to be actually using this but uh, just to show you basically what we're doing, we're just covering up these wires to make sure that nothing's gonna touch. And um, use heat shrink, tape isn't the best. So bodge job, but that's fine. Do it properly, take your time and use some heat shrink. Now, once that's done, you can, um, with this particular lamp, if you wanna use this STL, just poke a little hole in the side and then feed your light or your LED through. So you'll see here that I've just got the single LED exactly like I just showed you. And I've poked that through a little hole in the side and then just straight up the center. Straight up the center like so. And now we have our completed light.
So hopefully you can see that with the lights. It is a bit hard with all the studio lighting on. But um, yeah, the whole thing glows nice green at night time. You can also do this if you don't want to go the 5 volt route. You can buy those cheap, um, the cheap LED strips from AliExpress or Banggood. Uh, like Angus showed, which I'll put up in a video here. Uh, that's another way to do it, but you need to find a 12 volt wall wart or power supply for those. Um, everybody, most people, if you're watching this, you've probably got a computer or a device with a USB port, so this should work for anybody. I hope you like this video, guys. Please uh, let me know in the comments what you would do differently or how you would improve this project. If you would uh, use more LEDs or a single, and um, yeah, just what you'd do differently. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please let me know in the comments below and just let me know, yeah, what, what you would do differently and um, what other projects you could use this kind of thing for. So obviously I take no responsibility for if you blow yourself up, blow your computer up, burn your house down. Do this only if you feel sufficiently skilled or you actually are skilled. And um, please like, comment and subscribe. Please check out my buddy Preston. Um, please consider donating on Patreon. Uh, that, that's pretty much the primary income for the channel. So yeah, anything on there really helps and it helps to buy stuff to use and goodies. And uh, my sponsors, uh, Folger Tech and Makersum and Araram. Their URLs are listed in the description below. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.